r slash ask reddit walmart employees what's the worst thing you have seen inside your store somebody put bleach ammonia and drano in the fish tanks another time somebody sprayed deer pee all over the toy section i am really glad i don't work there anymore i've only been working at a walmart for two weeks i've had three people lose their temper on me one woman slammed her cart into someone else's cart because she couldn't buy alcohol with an expired ID. And one guy tried to walk away with a whole cart of groceries. In which a different customer walked after him and literally dragged him back inside. Again. Two weeks. Edit. I'm getting asked this a lot. So I'll explain. Stores can't accept expired IDs because they're considered invalid. If invalid IDs were accepted then it would create an aftermarket for those IDs. Which would then make it easier for people under 21 to get a hold of something they could potentially use to illegally purchase alcohol. My time to shine. First job out of high school, 2009. Moved cross country to be with my girlfriend. End up working at a Walmart as a janitor overnight in the worst part of town in Tulsa. Admiral Memorial for any locals. This place had everything it could underlock. High theft. And a few people had died there so the workers nicknamed it Kilmart. One night. A guy is in the sporting goods area and wants to buy something. He takes his wallet out. Sets it on the counter for a second. Thief walks up and grabs it. Runs off. The victim proceeds to grab a golf club. Chase the man down and violently beat him in an aisle. Blood. Broken neck. I'm like 95% positive the guy died. Destroyed aisle. Everyone in the store flipped. A bunch were calling people to view it in the CCTV room. My manager waved me down and asked me to clean up the aisle so the store would look nice for the morning. You know. The crime scene. I clocked out for lunch. Quit the next day. Watched a high schooler stoned out off his mind trip over his own feet and slam through a middle aisle display of those egg crate file holders. Those suckers went everywhere. Also an old woman tracking diarrhea through the store trying to find the bathroom cause she shit herself. Worst ever. Some people signed up for an oil change. Then threw one of those household bug bomb foggers into their car while they waited. When the technician went out to pull the car in. It was full of white smoke from the insecticide and the interior was covered in thousands of roaches all trying to escape the fog. We told them to leave. Worst this week. Guy signs up for an oil change. And the technicians find two live cats in under the hood of the minivan. The owner came out to deal with it. Saying they were his. Working 4am to 1pm first shift stocking. This was a couple years back. Dude shopping. Regular looking guy. I'm button up cheese on the shelf. He greets me with a kind of passing by you type hello. Then he asks me hey man. Why getting any pussy? I answered vaguely. A. He responds. Well. Some is better than none. Am I right? I've posted this in another Walmart thread. It's still one of my favorite stories from my mom. My mom worked at Walmart for about a year. She actually liked it as she was more active. But she decided to quit after the jewelry department manager had a meltdown and started throwing jewelry at customers. One old lady got pelted in the head with a heavy ring box and it was over. Turns out the manager was selling the jewelry to friends and family. But would keep the boxes and stuff them with rocks and trash so inventory would stay the same. She had the meltdown before she was caught. They had to drag her out of the store that day. Once while I was restocking shelves there was a kid pissing into a open cereal box. Mine actually happened yesterday. I was walking back to my area and saw one of my co-workers in front of a puddle. He said. Walk around. I responded. I don't want to know. Her immediate response was. It is urine. I lowered and shook my head and walked by. Let's see. I've seen people tripping balls. I've seen a guy walk in on 10 feet stilts. A guy with his dong out. A lady pull her pants down to adjust her panties. A guy pass out from huffing an aerosol can. A chick passed out on the ground. Low blood sugar. A car catch on fire. An employee die in his car in a parking lot. Old. And lots of fights. I'm sure there's more. But I can't remember. No. I personally didn't see some of these. 
but I'm friends with employees. There's nothing to do in this town so when something happens. I hear the stories a few times. Editor yes. A guy whipped out his dick and started peeing in front of my sister-in-law. Had a customer in a motorized scooter, his personal one. Not store provided, come up to me at the sporting goods desk and he asked me where the cans of compressed air are. I walk him over to some and he thanks me. Grabs a can off the shelf. And proceeded to start huffing it right in front of me. Someone throwing their used children diaper on top of the freshly baked cookies I just put out colon had to throw out 700 cookies. I've been working at Walmart for two and a half years and I've seen it all. The worst thing I've seen was a man who was checking out in the self checkout. All was good until this smell whiffed by. I didn't think much of it and figured the guy had farted. He proceeded to shake his left leg until a large slimy turd came out his pants. He took his receipt and left. Needless to say I did not pick that up and called maintenance over. I can only imagine the feeling of a warm turd sliding down my leg. My roommate worked at Walmart for years. The worst story she told me was when some lady confused the fitting rooms for a restroom and she took a big dump in one of the stalls. Right on the floor. At some point during the deed or just after she realized what she'd done and tried to clean it up. But all she could find was a paper towel roll. Just the roll. No paper towels. So she stuck the roll in her pile of shit like a flagpole and went about her day. I worked as a photo lab specialist for two years and saw some really awful pics. The worst was a toddler surrounded by marijuana buds and guns. We had to get the on-duty cop involved when the guy came back to pick them up. Edit for more info on why the cop was involved. I believe the guy was in the pic with the kid and had gang signs with one hand and almost putting a gun to the kid's head. It's been a while so it's a bit fuzzy. I worked customer service at Walmart for a little bit and one night just as I was closing customer service down a man came in screaming for help. He was wearing a white shirt but it was drenched red in some areas. He said he was shot twice and he thought he was gonna die. He lifted up his shirt to show us he wasn't just some druggie. And really needed help. Lo and behold there were two holes bleeding around this man's torso. Lucky for him an off duty paramedic was in line buying groceries and called it in fast for the ambulance. Just started a month ago but I've already seen. Shit covered stall and the man attempting to take a bath in the bathroom to clean himself. I heard a father say to his daughter I will slap the shit out of you in this store and I don't care who sees. And finally a bag of shit, it wasn't a lot so I'm gonna assume a kid shit, hidden behind Legos. Not Walmart but Lowe's. Someone had a mobile meth lab set up in lawn and garden. Not an employee. But I'm damn glad I wasn't for this one. One fateful afternoon. My bladder decided that it needed relief so I ducked into the restroom while I was in my local Walmart the two urinals were out of order which left the handicapped accessible stall and the regular stall. Someone was in the regular stall. So I opened the door to the handicapped stall and saw what I can only describe as the aftermath of a shit explosion. There was chocolate pudding consistency shit on the floor. The seat of the toilet. The wall behind the toilet. On the toilet paper dispenser. Everywhere. It looked like someone had stood with their pants down. Bent over and starting spinning while letting forth like some sort of scatological lawn irrigation fountain. My bladder would have to wait. As I gently made my way out of the restroom. Making a mental note to burn the shoes I was wearing that day. I saw a kindly looking older man in a yellow vest pushing a cleaning cart towards the entrance to that hellhole of vile human excrement and villainy. I'm not a religious man. But I offered up whatever good vibes I could muster for that man's surely soon to be crushed soul that day. Not an employee but off duty police officer. Two homeless people dug out a hole into the paper towel section and were living in it. They finally found them when someone complained about two people having sex in the toilet paper aisle. Also had a homeless person take a homeless alcoholic shit in the bike aisle. Those employees do not get paid enough. It's been years now since I worked there but this is something I will never forget. I worked in the photo lab which was right next door to electronics. There was a man and a child, the child being maybe 8, looking at video games. I kept hearing the child say he had to go to the bathroom but his father wouldn't take him or let him go alone. 
Long story short the boy obviously couldn't hold it any longer. And crapped his pants. The father then told the son to shake it out. The kid did just that, and tons of turds fell out of his shorts onto the floor. The smell was atrocious and I honestly could not believe what I was witnessing. The father then walked over to my co-worker and said yeah. You better clean this up and promptly left. I was stunned. So I used to stock the crafts section on overnights. I'm kinda an awkward person so no human contact was great for me. This old guy on a scooter insisted upon sitting in my aisle for like. Hours. Just staring at the needles. Okay, whatever. I stocked everything I could. But finally I needed him to move, and honestly I was a little creeped out at this point. I mentioned it to my manager on the way to lunch. After lunch he was gone. Turns out he had died there like 5 hours ago. Mine's much more mild. Think of it as a palate cleanser for the rest of the horror stories in this thread. I worked at a Walmart for one summer during college. I was a courtesy associate according to my name tag. But I preferred the title of cart wrangler. My job was to recover shopping carts. Help customers get big stuff into their cars trucks. And keep the parking lot clean. As a result. I had a particular disdain for a class of customers I referred to as oil changers. They'd run into the store to buy some automotive product. Like engine oil or windshield washer fluid. Use said product on their vehicle in the lot. And then leave a mess on their way out. My most memorable was a group of kids in their late teens early 20s like myself at the time. Busted up little 4 banger sedan. I think it had no interior panels. They bought a trunk mounted subwoofer box. Installed it in the lot. And left the empty cardboard box for me to clean up. Yes. It was a minor annoyance. But when there are one or two garbage cans in between each and every lane on the lot and you can't be bothered to use one. I think my annoyance was justified. A woman who really had to take a shit sprayed it all over the walls. No maintenance was there. I had to clean it. Two really obnoxious racist assholes were walking around the store. Obviously drunk or on drugs. Casually calling any black person they saw the n word. Not sure what ended up happening to them but pretty sure they got kicked out by asset protection. That's it. I'm never going into a Walmart ever again. There must be some kind of force field or aura that gives people unstoppable diarrhea. My best friend Rumi worked Walmart and technically died there after having an aneurysm. The worst story was about the Hamburglar, a person persons who would put a packaging of raw hamburger in their cart and then change their mind and leave the hamburger in some random spot. But sometimes it would be a couple of days before the Hamburglar's deed was uncovered. It was so bad that almost every employee started inspecting their area of responsibility and pretty soon. The Hamburglar's foul deed were being discovered very quickly because no one wanted to deal with the leaky maggot mess. Then the assistant manager got caught leaving a package of hamburger in the shoe department. The warmits around here must be classy. I only ever hear crying babies or the occasional hushed argument. Not even so much as an exposed butt crack. Didn't work at Walmart. But once I saw an entire family, man, woman, and son, there who all had mullets. I thought that was pretty special. Was working part time at Walmart and was having a smoke break. There was a guy sitting on the bench with a paper sack. I thought oh he's got a beer in there or something to that nature. Nope. While several of us employees were sitting there dude pulls out a white paint can. Blasts it into the paper sack and starts huffing it till his eyes roll back and he slumps out. Everyone was kind of in shock but then a few seconds later he pops up. Grabbed his stuff and went on his merry way. I personally didn't see this one. But I heard about it. It was during the holiday season. And there was an older woman who went into a dressing room with a bunch of clothing. And came out with a lot less. She hobbled over to one of our electric carts. And was slowly driving out. Moaning in sheer agony. Needless to say. Softline employees noticed this and immediately alerted AP. They stopped her at the door. Found a bunch of stuff out of bags in the cart that weren't paid for. And when they took her into the AP office. They found out that she had a lot more stuff on her person. Lodged up her ass. Our AP person. With the help of a couple of cops. 
had to strip this old woman down in the office and remove said items from her rectum. The woman was arrested. And I don't think I've ever seen our AP woman leave after clocking out so fast that night. My two favorite oh shit moments. Cold Adam, missing kid, wandering the store looking for a little boy and we see him flying down the main aisle on a bike. He clipped the edge of an end display and went flying into a shelf and got banged up. This is the worst one. Again young kid. Maybe 7ish. Laying on the bottom part of the cart. He was looking up through the cart and his head was at the front. Mom hit a bump. Kid slid forward. Head bent back and went under the cart while he was still on it. That one was disturbing but he didn't have any issues other than screaming for the first minute or two after. I worked at Walmart for all of my teenage years. And there was so much poop where it shouldn't be. That's the most disgusting. The worst would have been when some thieves attempted to run out the door. Followed closely by loss prevention. Turned around and sprayed them with mace. Which then wafted into the store. A few seniors had to be taken to the hospital for respiratory issues. Everyone working in the store spent all day coughing as the mace lingered in the air. Because heaven forbid they shut the store down and think of anyone else's health. Oh. One more. Much more mild. We're an academy store. Which means we're the model store for the area. Managers come to train and see one best way in action. Then go home and try to emulate it. I'm trying to speed in the pharmacy section with a coworker. So we're cutting up while we're slinging freight. Right beside us is the pharmacy line and a guy. Vaguely nondescript. Is chilling. Second in line. I look over at him. And he suddenly starts gazing around like he's lost. I ask if he's okay. He responds. Yeah. Just thought I was in another dimension. I look at my coworker. He shrugs and continues stalking. The guy isn't obviously injured or anything so I continue stalking. The guy keeps on. I'm from other store. They'll push you out the way. Cuss at you. Even the cap workers will push you. This store's much nicer. Internally. I think. Fucking fire them. But aloud I say. I guess we're just nicer people. He straight up cackles and walks away from the line. Weird shit. But at least it was a compliment. Not an employee. But I felt really bad for one. My brother was at Walmart with my friend and I. We were looking through pet stuff and there was an aisle with plungers at the end. Being the 13 year old he was. My brother could not resist the temptation of picking one up and sticking it to the floor. We laugh a little. After he does this. He goes to put it back. And the whole rack falls down. He's frantically trying to place all the plungers back as my friend and I are running away and cackling. Then. An employee walks up and starts to help him. Apparently the whole shelf, three racks of plungers, was unstable. And as they were putting the last few on. The racks above clatter to the ground and now there are probably 50 plungers rolling around on the floor. My friend and I are fucking dying watching from the clothing section. The employee just puts his head down. Sighs. And tells my brother he can just leave. We didn't get in trouble or kicked out but I'm so sorry for that poor employee. It was funny as hell. Though. The bathrooms. Especially the ladies. They just don't care about keeping it clean or hygienic. Disgusting is all I have to say. Emma at my Kmart stories. Old guy Pisces himself and then proceeds to sit on every piece of furniture and desk chair in the store. A single guy repeatedly setting the women's underwear on fire over multiple weeks. A guy turning yellow and passing out right in front of me. Obligatory not a Walmart employee. And this is probably a lot tamer than other replies. But one time I saw a burger in a toilet. Walmart owned store in Europe. I saw a lot in my time there. Worst was a man who shit his pants and needed me to fetch him supplies to clean up. I'm glad he felt able to ask for help. But it was so gross. The sheer amount of really dirty smelly people was an eye opener too. My co-worker had the worst experience though. She refused sale of a knife to a man who was intoxicated. Her boss over at her and sold him the knife. An hour later a different man ran into the store holding his stomach and bleeding. Screaming for help. When he let go. His intestines fell out. The first drunk guy brought the knife and went back to the bar and slashed guy number two's stomach open and it was all in a row over a girl. 
I'm gonna go out on a limb here. Happen to be listening to a certain radio talk show this morning? Semicolon. One of my co-workers bought weed from another. While working. They then proceeded to smoke some of it. Right in front of the store. I don't smoke. But honestly I couldn't blame them at all. I'm a former Walmart employee but one time I came in at 7am. As a customer host asset protection associate and at around 7.15 in the morning a woman comes in and goes directly to our restroom area. Which was normal seeing as how we had some homeless people who would come in and just use the restrooms and leave afterward. However for whatever reason asset protection decided to watch her and they saw her just barely enter the corner for the women's restroom. Stop. And proceed to inject herself from what they claimed looked like heroin. She then proceeded to leave the needle and try to shoplift a hat. To which asset protection then had me stop her and ask her for the hat. Considering that this was above my pay grade and the asset protection guy. We both just decided to call in the janitor to get rid of the needle and pretend like nothing happened. Despite the fact that after I took the hat back. She then proceeded outside where she started to yell like a lunatic and started arguing with somebody even though there was nobody there. Probably should have called the cops. But not my call. A piece of shit hanging from the ceiling. When I worked at Walmart a week wouldn't go by without someone shitting on the ground somewhere in the store. Usually in the clothes section. To roughly reiterate some details from the top comments on this account. A teenage young man ramming a cart into a crying teenage young lady as the, very young almost newborn, infant seated in the toddler seat flopped around. Manager started tailing them but I'm not sure if anything ever happened. Girl puking on me as I stood next to a trash can. Poor girl. Additionally. Customer throwing clothes at me when discovering they were placed on the wrong rack, not by me. At least it was just clothes. I recently started employment at another location but so far nothing to top those two. Just the one creepy co-worker who stands uncomfortably close to me sometimes. I took too long to answer a customer's question one time so she called me a piece of shit and stomped away. It's funny now. I've become increasingly aware of the division between just people and customers when I'm interacting with them at work lately. Someone asks me calmly where the brooms are at? Person. Someone whistles at me and snaps their fingers to get my attention and barks brooms. At me? Customer F. Not a Walmart employee. I just want to say thank you to all the retail workers out there for putting up with the shit you put up with and not murdering everyone you know. Seriously. You're doing God's work and you get nowhere near enough love for it. A customer in a power scooter, his own. Not from the store, was at the fabrics counter asking me what would be a good fabric that could be waterproof. He only needed a 2x2 two two foot piece and I was explaining to him how I had to cut by the yard not by what size he asked. He was not understanding me completely and in a moment of old man anger he lifts up his shirt. He pulls his pants down and screams I just want to keep my colostomy bag from freezing in the winter. I saw it all. Cut him a one yard piece of fabric and sent him on his way. I bleach much needed. I was walking to the front restroom so I had to walk by the checkout lanes. And I saw this big lady throwing groceries out of her cart and screaming at the cashier. The cashier was younger. Probably 18 or 20 so she was just bawling her eyes out the whole time. Intrigued but still having to piss like crazy I just continued my business quickly and went back out to see the chaos. As I walked by again there was now a male cashier, I'm assuming the poor girl cashier walked away at that point, and the crazy lady was whipping her cart around as if she was trying to wrangle a wild animal. The saddest part about all of this is she had her toddler in the cart the whole time. So I went back to my deli to tell the tales of what I had just witnessed. After a few days I was still telling the same story to a girl who wasn't here that day. And she heard about it too from a cashier friend. Allegedly the lady got all her groceries half off. And what sparked the whole day barkle was an expired coupon. Give them 10 minutes. I'm about to head there right now. I worked at Walmart for a year back in 2011. While the sales floor itself was clean and organized for the most part the back room looked like a hoarder's paradise. It was about the size of a small gymnasium and had boxes of products going all the way back to the 90s. Posted a few days ago in another thread this was back in the late 90s. 
I was working at Walmart as my first job as a teenager. I was floated to the garden department one day and there was a guy looking at lawn fertilizer. I walked over and asked if he needs help. He said not now. Just looking at the different kinds you have. Pretty standard reply from the guy. So I said okay. Let me know. I walk away. And then swing back about 5 minutes later. Same guy has proceeded to rip open about 10 different kinds of the fertilizer all over the ground and is rolling around in the stuff. He is also taste sampling the stuff. I called my manger because I did not want to deal with it. Security escorted the guy out the store and called an ambulance in case the ingestion of the fertilizer hurt him. What's with people and leaving shit around them? Not at Walmart. But when I worked at Borders someone took a book into the bathroom and jerked off onto it and left it there. A car that plowed through the garden section. I think one person got injured. The driver had a heart attack while getting in out of the parking lot. I didn't see the incident. I started my shift just minutes after so I got there just as they were taping off the area and I'm like whoa. What's that doing there? I guess there's a lot of other gross things I've seen but there's something about that and how little of a catalyst there was that made me question stuff. I worked at Walmart about 20 years ago. Being the manager of the photo lab before digital took over. So my department was right next to the electronics department. I'm chatting with the manager of the electronics department. And all of a sudden we hear a woman yell here it comes. We then see a middle aged woman frantically scuttling down the aisle. Holding her shorts near the back. She ran to the restroom. Leaving a trail of liquid shit behind her. It looked like when a dog is sick and you're trying to get them out the door before they make a mess all over your carpet. And they keep stopping to shit every few seconds. An employee went in with a pair of pants off the shelf to help out. She put them on and made a beeline toward the exit without paying for them. Leaving her soiled shorts in the stall on the floor. Not me. But my ex was working in the clothing department some years ago. Some lady was walking around with her small child. Child had boogers coming out of his nose and the mom takes her kid. Puts her mouth over the kid's nose. Sucks out his boogers. Then spits it on the floor. One of the grossest things I've ever heard of. Not a Walmart employee. But a Target team member. Found a trail of diarrhea starting in cosmetics and leading to the restroom. Others guests were just walking through and running it over with their carts making the trail even bigger. It was a great day. Not from Walmart but from when I worked at a Zellers in high school. Zellers was this department store in Canada. It was similar to Walmart. In the winter sometimes homeless people would go in the bathroom. And we'd have to kick them out. Sometimes they'd just be napping on the toilet or they'd be drinking mouthwash. One night in winter there was a homeless guy holed up in one of the stalls. We had complaints that there was smoke and a weird smell coming from the stall. So me and another guy had to go in and kick him out. Turns out he had been smoking meth in there. We knocked on the door but he was just telling us to fuck off and wouldn't open the door. So we unlocked it and he was sitting on the toilet he was all fucked up. He had some crutches next to him so he started swinging them at us. He was pissed off and high so to try to restrain him. I ended up grabbing him and dragging him out the door. He tried to come back in and was trying to fight us. It was kind of funny. Not inside the store. But in the parking lot not far from the door. When I was 17. I was just getting out of there around midnight. I noticed a group of 20 somethings cheering and being obnoxious. The Walmart is near a university so I just thought they were drunk. I glanced over and saw a girl on her knees in front of a guy in the middle of the group. I walked to my car quite a bit faster. Not a Walmart but similar chain grocery store in the northeast. We had a customer shit her pants in the bakery section. The proceed to open a loaf of bread and use it to wipe herself. And as if that's not bad enough she put it back on the shelf. Disgusting bitch. I didn't see it. But I heard a guy shoot himself in the entrance way. Not heard about. Heard. It sounded like a pallet dropping. Superstore writers are probably scouring this thread for plot points. Standard not Walmart but when I worked overnight at Kroger about a week before Christmas I was stocking the Mexican section. I was in my zone and really not paying attention. Suddenly I hear a meek voice saying excuse me but do you have a phone? 
I looked up to see a rail thin woman in a yellow dress that looked like it was basically falling off. Her black hair was a mess and she only had on one sock. Makeup was streaming down her face where she had been crying. My heart was racing. Just because I wasn't really expecting this. People rarely speak to you overnight to begin with and immediately upon seeing her I assumed the worst had happened. Anyways I told her that the phone was up front and the self checkout lady would gladly let her use it. Now I never found out for sure. But she told our self checkout lady that she had been at a party. Got in a fight with her boyfriend and got him kicked out or left, can't remember. She then proceeded to walk around 4 miles from the next county over to our store since it was the only place open this late. It was also in the 30s and drizzling. If you want really great stories. Work overnights at a grocery store. Not inside the store but a co-worker of mine recorded a guy licking spilt beer in the parking lot. He saw he was being recorded. And went back to licking up the beer off the concrete. Not a Walmart worker but one I went to had a mouse in an aisle that scurried away when I passed by it. Reported it to a worker and they did not care or believe me. This is the same Walmart though that has small birds like robins and sparrows flying around from the ceiling rafters. Ex-employee. Saw some crazy lady probably on some kind of drugs take out her tampon and throw it at someone cause they didn't like her tone. Crazy bitch just plucked it out and tossed it like a bloody hand grenade. For the moment what comes to mind. A customer in the pharmacy that was confirmed to have dementia of sorts asked to use our nebulizer machine. We don't even sell them, for his albuterol. We tried to explain all this info to him. Guy gets mad. Walks away and drinks the albuterol vial. Washes it down at the water fountain. IDK much about that shit but it's 2.5 to 3 ml. Definitely supposed to be inhaled over the course of like 5-10 minutes so seemed not good. Pretty sure he'd been doing this for months, at least. I was recently traveling in a foreign country that happens to have a lot of warmets. Was there pretty late and I heard some mysterious grunts coming from a deserted aisle. Took a glance to confirm my suspicions and yep. A couple was just straight up fucking right then and there. I worked in the garden center at a Walmart in a semi-rural area. Had a woman come in asking to buy all of our dead plants for a quarter. Because she could bring them back from the dead. I called a manager because I didn't know if we could do that. While we were waiting she proceeded to tell me that she had been struck by lightning letting her see god. Which is where she learned how to bring things back to life. I had a guy order 2 inch thick slices of swiss cheese and an inch thick slice of ham. When I asked him what he was making. He said a sandwich. I'm on the keto diet buddy that is not how this works. I understand keto means you can eat meat and cheese but it does not mean replace bread with cheese. Well I'm not her employee but I went there to shop once. And there was a guy in only an underwear fighting with her employee at the registration counter with an open bottle chocolate sauce. Had some bitch flip out on me because she didn't like how I handled her avocados. Had a dude call me an idiot because I didn't have x-ray vision and had to take his paper towels out that were laying down in the box. Not standing up, to count them. Had a lady at SCO get angry at me when I politely told her she should weigh her red and green grapes separately because they're different types of grapes and thus different prices, she was trying to weigh them together. Witnessed multiple fights on Black Thursday. Some bitch threw a paint set at me, but missed, because her daughter was acting suspicious at SCO. This was after she cussed me out for 5 minutes and wasn't happy that I didn't give her a reaction. Sorry I'm dead inside. Numerous people expecting Nordstrom or Whole Food style service like expecting me to sort their cart full of clothing by size and neatly folding them into bags. Sorry. Karen. Do you realize where you are? Junkie couple fights. A woman came to the electronic department and she was obviously high on a stimulant of some sort. She had a little boy about 6 years old. He was hyperactive. Playing with toys he pulled off the shelves. I didn't mind he wasn't damaging anything. However. The mother was looking to charge her phone so I pulled out our charger ball of wires and allowed her to use one. She stood there making civil conversation which further confirmed a stimulant for sure. Well. The little boy started bringing little things like sheriff badges and little items similar. Small enough to fit into her bag. That caught my attention and I looked in her bag while she was endlessly digging in her purse. 
I mean how deep is the FN purse? I saw necklaces still had the cardboard thing it hangs from and prices on. Maybe it was plastic. I'm not sure. Anyway. I go and tell inventory loss manager and they start watching. Well after about 20-30 minutes past she gets ready to leave because she notices them. She gets flustered and tries to hit the exit, didn't make it. I don't know what happened. But that's my worst thing. The worst thing a Walmart employee may ever see is obviously his or her paycheck. Fuck Walmart and the Walton crime family. We had a guy try to kill himself in the produce section one night. Came into the store. Threatened several people, both customers and associates, with his knife. Then started just slashing himself up. Police were only able to subdue him when he'd lost enough blood that he nearly passed out. He was slashing at them right up until the end. Had to throw away close to $20,000 worth of produce after that. I worked asset protection at Walmart for a little over a year and saw a lot of messed up things. The one that sticks with me the most was late one night. Probably 12 to 1 am. We found a young girl. Maybe 2-3 years old wandering the store by herself. Barefoot. Her feet were completely black on the bottom from walking around barefoot for who knows how long. We asked her what her mother's name was. But she was too scared to talk. Luckily a woman who knew the mother came up and told us the mother's name. We paged her several times with no answer. We got a description of the mother and I went searching. I found her in the cosmetics aisle stoned off her ass cramming her purse full of makeup. Her response when I told her that her daughter was scared and looking for her? Oh okay. Shit happens. This thread is kind of like a Walmart itself. I want to go in and see what's up. But I'm a little bit scared of what I might find. I worked at the Walmart in Winchester. KY. Little no nothing place. I wasn't there when it happened as my shift had ended an hour earlier. This was somewhere around 2001 to 2003. Guy had caught his girlfriend cheating on him with someone at the store. He came in while both of them were working and caught them in an aisle together. Pulled out a gun and shot the dude and then shot himself. Blood stain wouldn't come out of the tile. Had to replace it. Store was pretty somber for several weeks after that. It's kinda shitty to bring up because it's sad and I'm not trying to make fun of the guy. But it's like 4am and this man dressed in a suit and fedora comes in. No face. I concluded some kind of cancer had ate away his face. All he had left was eyes and a massive cancerous hole. He just gurgled. We had to have him write down what he needed. It was sad but goddamn it. It scared the absolute shit out of me and I never really forgot. If you want to get nothing in return, you can like and join my discord, there is a link in the description.